Good evening on this Wednesday in Lent. We give thanks to God that we've been gathered and that God continues to provide for us life out of the ashes, <laughs> hope out of our despair, forgiveness out of our sins. Today we will um, once again be in the midst of our ashiness and God won't leave us there while we continue to be embraced by God's word there is light in the darkness. Some announcements of our life together. We continue to have the Stations of the Ash through, um, through the rest of this month on Wednesdays from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. If you haven't done those yet, to experience them in person, kind of in order again, you're welcome to sign up or call the office for that. If you haven't picked up or um, your Holy Week in the Box kit, or if you can deliver a few, we, have, we need to deliver a few still. So please look into that as well and our Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday services on April 1st and 2nd are being planned for 7 p.m. both of those nights, either in person or you can watch it live stream. And then Easter mornings gonna be either on, on April 4th, either at Driftwood Point at 7 a.m. or 9.30 in the sanctuary. Continue to, to be generous in your Lenten giving and we, we will also direct that into our community and give thanks for the ways we are called to live our faith and to care for our neighbor. So let us prepare our hearts and our minds for worship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and also with you. Let us pray. Gracious God, through the ages you have sent your promise to your people in many ways, through many voices. But in these last days, your Son has come to bring it among us in person. Through your Holy Spirit, prepare us, prepare our hearts to recognize him in his many forms and receive him as our Lord and Savior. Amen. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine within your people again. Thanks, Sam. 
Let us pray. May our prayer come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Our reading tonight comes from the book of Job, chapter 42, verses 1 through 6. Then Job answered the Lord, I know that you can do all things, and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Who is this that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore I have uttered what I did not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I did not know. Hear, and I will speak. I will question you, and you will declare to me. I had heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eyes sees you. Therefore, I despise myself, and I repent in dust and ashes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
It's a hard, hard thing to talk about. It's a harder thing to truly connect with ourselves, to dare to name the ways we have fallen short. Martin Luther struggled with this in the sense of sometimes when you get started writing down all the ways you've fallen short, it feels like the list will just keep on going. And then if you feel like you've named them all, then you'll go, then you'll have this inner pride and so you have to write that one down too. Or, or confess that one too. There's many, many ways that we have fallen short. And when our sin is made aware to us, what do we normally do? We normally try to hide it or deny it or justify it or say that this it didn't really matter, or we sink into despair. And we cover ourselves, thinking that our worth has been lost, that our value is connected with whether we met the goal, or were good enough, or had enough value. We were considerate, that we were thoughtful, that we restrained ourselves. There's a lot that takes us away from the love of God in our lives. There's many ways we fall short. We go in the wrong direction an awful lot of times. In our readings from Job, at the very end, towards the end of the book, and he's lost everything. His cross that he has had to bear is enormous. And throughout most of the book, he does look towards God for his hope and his trust. But he also fails no fail is the right word, but he also doesn't grasp that God is still there. I mean, in these verses from Job chapter 42, it's like, you know, I knew these things. I was aware um, of who you are and how you act, but I still questioned and I still wondered and I still lacked faith. God would have us look towards God's grace and mercy in all times and in all places and to keep going there again and again and again to repent to not look for hope within ourselves but to look continually to God for our hope but it's so hard isn't it <laughs> so our, our, our lesson today I don't have a chalkboard here at home but these days we do have whiteboards so if you have a whiteboard at home or anything like that, take some time to actually write your sins down. And then, whether it's with chalk, with a white whiteboard, whiteboard, erase that. And your fingers are likely going to be kind of dirty. The dust, the remnants of your sin, clinging to you. And rub it off, because you didn't probably want to see it there. 
You didn't want to see it reflected back at you, how you've fallen short, what you've done, left undone, where you haven't been compassionate, where you haven't trusted, where you've put your trust other than in God. And we erase, but our sin wants to cling to us. What God does is God takes that clinginess of sin away from us, washes us clean, and gives us new life in Christ Jesus. We go from a slate that was filled with our sin and brokenness to one that is clean. I know this isn't a perfect example. How can I show you a perfect example? Only Christ can do that. But what was once here what was once on yours is wiped clean by Christ. And then the dust that clings to you, that's been taken away as well. Because Christ turns us in the different direction and gives us life and gives us hope, taking us out of those ashes and bringing us home in Christ Jesus as our hope, as our Savior, as the one who sees us through all the things that we do and don't do. And each morning that renewal of, I forgive you, you are mine, gives us new life. So as you would cling to your sin, what God does is he clings to you with life. Life in the midst of life, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Life in the midst of all the brokenness and the fear. Life in the midst of all the challenges and worry comes to you, clings to you, gets in between you and your sin, and your sin clings to Christ and is taken from you. Repentance is done to you by God, and it's a very good thing, and it will keep happening, because <laughs> while this might be blank for a while, pretty soon we find a way to continue to sin, to continue to put trust in other places, to continue to fall short. And Christ continues to give that life to you, now and always. Thanks be to God. Amen. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it.
and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. May God create a blessing us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the spirit of love be our guide and path for all of our days. God of hope, fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Christ is with you. Thanks be to God. <laughs>